So an update to the Solidity smart contract code audit competitions that I have been doing on Code Arena recently. I have pretty much participated in every single competition that came out since I made my last video and it's been 13 competitions. Some of those results have started to roll out and I just got another payout yesterday bringing the total to $321 on this platform for the last 60 days. Now what I like about this platform is all the reports are made public so you can go back and check what are the findings that other people have found, improve and help everyone get better. Now if you've seen my previous video where I talked about my first bug bounty payout, it was for the pre-PO competition and it was for 79.46. I submitted two findings for this competition, one was a gas optimization report and another QA report. For this first competition I honestly didn't even really attempt to look into the medium and high level findings because at this level where I'm only a couple of months into this I am not really finding those vulnerabilities at this point so this was one of the first uh, competitions that I participated in and I was only going for those very low hanging fruit type of things. Now for the findings that I have submitted recently, I have actually submitted a few medium findings and a single high level finding within the last couple of weeks. So it'll be interesting to see what comes out of those once those reports get released. I am fairly confident that the high level finding is legit. Perhaps it may be downgraded to a medium, but it's definitely a finding that is fairly up there so i will keep you guys posted on when those results come out so i can show you guys some more interesting findings and uh, sort of just give you guys an idea of what sort of findings are getting paid out and also just document my progression in this right so um, i'm going through learning resources as i participate in these audit contests so it'll be good to uh, document this whole process for uh, helping people who want to perhaps get into this field and uh, yeah just share some of my experiences of uh, learning and participating in code arena contests so the two findings that i submitted for my first payout it was a gas optimization report where Essentially, you see this pattern of writing up for loops in pretty much every single programming language. You've got an integer, you loop through and check if the integer is less than the length of the array, and then you increment that integer. Well, in Solidity, there are certain quirks to it that if you write it up in certain ways, you can save gas costs which is essentially transaction costs of someone interacting with your contract. So for the standard for loop, um, first you've got initializing the variable with the default value. By default, it's already assigned zero. So putting this assignment here costs a little bit of gas. The second one is you should cache this accounts.length and use that variable in the loop instead of uh, putting this in the for loop, which then will be calculating this value every time you loop through this. Essentially wasting a bit of gas calculating this value. And the final one is use prefix increments rather than postfix. So for this i++, instead of using i++, you do plus plus i, which for some reason saves a bit of gas and solidity. So that is a pretty basic pattern that I see come up in almost every code base that I have come across on Code Arena. So it's a very easy low hanging fruit finding that you can submit for a gas optimization report. The second finding that I submitted was a low level quality assurance type of finding to do with safe transfers and transfers. So in this code base, they were using safe transfer on some 
instances and using transfer on some other instances. So this recommendation or finding is just to keep that consistent because some ERC20 tokens, they don't revert on failures, but they return a Boolean instead if the transaction fails. So that has been known to cause some issues in the past, but for this particular code base, it didn't really cause any issues because they were pretty much calling it on a known good ERC20 token, which does revert on failure. So in this code base, it's just a low level quality assurance type of finding. So as you can see, very basic low hanging fruit stuff that I submitted for this first competition that I participated in. I hope this gives you guys a better idea of what sort of findings are legit and is actually getting paid out for on this platform which uh, I was pretty surprised at uh, how easy it was to find these low hanging fruit stuff and also the amount that it was actually paying for. Now for some learning resources in this space, for the last couple of weeks I have been reading these audit findings and security pitfalls and best practices from Securium. Now, these were a bit of a struggle for me to get through, to be honest. It definitely needs a couple of read throughs before you start to retain some of the information that is in these findings. What I found useful was when I read through these findings, I actually pasted them into my Joplin notes into various groupings where they were similar. So for example, I've got all my Securium findings in this folder here. I've grouped them into these buckets. So I can then look through them a few more times, just reviewing the findings as I scroll through them like so. Reviewing the similar findings together, which I found it really helped to generalize this and build a mental mind map of all the various potential vulnerabilities that could be found. Pretty much everyone recommends going through Securium and I found it pretty useful as well after actually reviewing them in detail with a couple of read throughs of each order finding. And also shout out to D squared. He has been pretty much following the same roadmap that I have been doing for the last few months, going through Ethernaut CTFs and also the Securium material. I've watched a bunch of his videos and it was really great to see someone at a similar level explaining things from their perspective as they went through the material. It was pretty useful for me and I picked up a few things from his videos. Alright, that's my update for today. Looking forward to the results coming out for the recent competitions. I am curious how high we can go up on the leaderboard for the last 60 days as these results start rolling in. I'll be making more update videos on my progress and sharing the findings that I submitted when the report comes out for those competitions. So look forward to that. Um, in the future, once I get sufficiently decent at audits, I might do like more live audits where I will pre-record me going through an audit, finding the various vulnerabilities and then releasing those videos once the report comes out. So let's see how that goes. Um, it might be a while ways to go until I am sufficiently good enough to be finding medium to high severity issues in every competition. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, looking forward to making more progress with the learning and with uh, more audit competitions.